Hey, so I am going to demonstrate here how you can leverage the Tray platform with some of our AI palette connectors to reduce um, the amount of support tickets uh, that, that come in or have them get uh, completed and fulfilled just quicker. So um, the use case I'm going to go through here is a support request coming in, showing how you can auto-generate support tickets as well as generate possible solutions leveraging AI and um, leveraging your internal documentation that might be just unique to you and your organization, whereas something like an open AI or a chat GPT would have no idea um, you know, what that internal system uh, process is. So uh, I'm showing the workflow here on my screen, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pop the hood show you how it works and then go through the different steps uh, of what you were seeing. So uh, depending on where you create your support tickets, it could be via a form on your website or within some sort of internal portal. It doesn't really matter where the support ticket request is coming in. It could be from email. We got an email connector. It could be from a, a form, Jira, Asana, whatever it is. Um, it, it, it really doesn't matter, but the, the, the entry point is somewhere that Trey uh, will plug into. In my case, I'm just going to use uh, Slack. So let's just say we have um, a dedicated Slack channel for different customers, or um, there's a community Slack account that customers can access. And I created a very simple um, bot that's just called Alfred, where you can submit any sort of support request needs that you might have. Um, I have this built out for a few different use cases outside of just support, but I'm going to focus just on the support. Uh, use case. So let's say that I am a customer and I'm having issues logging into my Trey account. So I would typically email um, um, uh, a Trey rep or I would open a, uh, a support ticket using um, some sort of portal or something like that. So in my case, I'm going to just say I need help resetting, oh, resetting my email password. So I'm going to submit this. This is going to go directly to Trey. I've I've kind of branded my little uh, co-pilot friend named uh, Alfred. It's going to say, hey, I'm going to um, help you with this. I then respond back, all right, let's pull an IT to assist with that. So I can click this. I can uh, pull it up. So this could be Jira. It could be Salesforce. It could be um, HubSpot, Asana. You know, wh wherever you open your tickets, you can generate um, a, a, a ticket here. You can set an SLA, you can assign it out, you can put a due date, um, all that fun stuff. But in addition to this, um, there's actually two replies here. So the, the first one is the ticket, but then the, the second one here is actually a possible solution overview. So I'm responding to that person within within Slack, which is helpful. Or like, let's say this is email. They're, they're just sending an email to support at tray.ai. You could actually respond back uh, all within one email, you know, this is your support ticket. It's been opened. We're working on it. We see you. Um, or, you know, here's a possible solution. So here it says, go to trade.ia login page, click on forgot password, enter an email address, submit. So, so this is unique to just Trey. Not all companies might have this, this same process. So, um, and, and then if this works for the end customer, what they can do is they can just say, oh, this, this solves my problem. I'm in. Um, close ticket, but you can see here, you know, if you have any other issues, you can also contact Alex at tray.ai for system access or permission related queries. So this is hyper focused just on tray. It's not generic information sent by, by open AI. So, so, so how am I doing this? And, and then I can close it out and then boom, we've just opened and closed a ticket within 20 seconds. Um, or you could include other buttons here, like, you know, it didn't solve my problem, you know, please escalate it, um, in which case Trey can go and it can find the assigned owner um, and then, you know, escalate it up or send them a, a, an alert message. But on the Trey side, uh, th this is what's happening. So we get our kind of our intake request. This could come from anywhere, right? In my case, I'm just doing Slack. I'm notifying them that the work is being done. I'm classifying the request. So part of this classification could actually be looking up to see if the customer is kind of a VIP customer. Um, and, and if they are, you could treat that customer differently based on the products and services or kind of reoccurring revenue amount that they have within your business. So, so that would be a, a really interesting way to kind of splice and dice this out. In my case, I'm just seeing, you know, is it a content request, an information request or an IT request? If it's an IT request, it's going down the IT path. 
getting the user's information. I'm creating the, um, the Asana ticket. This again, could be Jira, Salesforce, HubSpot, whatever. Uh, and then I'm replying back with that ticket information. And then, um, I'm also pulling, um, the corporate guidelines around it requests. So just to show you what that looks like here, I just put in some basic information where if it's a system access, uh, request, contact Alex. If it's a product upgrade or add-ons request, contact me, uh, Steven, or if there's any issues with passwords, here's the process that we want them to take. Now, this, this Google doc is a very simple representation of a much bigger solution that you might want to do. You might want to actually tap into your knowledge base, uh, with a notion or, um, maybe multiple documents, but what you can do is you can feed AI all of this helpful information where not only does it have the power of AI of a large language model like Anthropic or, or OpenAI, but it also combined with that knowledge has your internal um, depository of, of SOPs that it can then respond back to that person with. So, so it can get interesting really quick when it comes to providing helpful information um, within seconds of the ticket being submitted. So um, this is just a very simple example of the power of trade plugging into all of your systems, giving it the context of kind of your internal SOPs from a support um, side, uh, as well as uh, providing real time helpful information back to your customer. So hopefully this was uh, helpful. If there's any questions, just drop a comment. I'd be happy to answer it. Trade, I, your power,